What's up? So, um, let, let, let me just ask you something here. Uh, when you say it's you no, know, not a substitute for morality, what what do you mean? Like you telling me, uh, laws cannot be based on morals. What what does that mean? What I'm saying, well, this I'm quoting um, Edward Snowden um, from when he said it. What I mean is, just because somebody makes a law, and and if that law is insane, if it's wrong, that's that's no excuse. You know what I mean? If, if there's if somebody's doing something wrong, and you know it's wrong, but just because the government made a law that said this is the way it is, that's nonsense. So, so law saying, doesn't substitute what's yeah, right and what's wrong. So a law doesn't mean something is allowed. Like something is allowed, that doesn't make it uh, acceptable. Is that what you're saying? If I say uh, the law allows, um, let's say, killing of people on a daily basis, that's not moral. Is that what you're trying to say? Even though the law... Right, like I'm just saying objectively, just because you make a law doesn't mean that it, just because now it's law, it's just good it's just an objectively good thing just because it's a law it's right you know what i mean right but here's just the, here's, that's what i'm saying here's the thing uh obviously everyone has different morals so so how do you actually base a law if it's you know has to meet the you're, certain morals of people you're right everybody's got different morals and it is it's a problem and that's a that's a good thing to think about but my point is and i really don't have a great answer but my point is I'm just saying objectively, just because something's a law doesn't mean that it's the right way things should be. Just because it is a law, regardless of what it is. But my that, example was this, okay. Yeah, go on, go on. My example was when I made this quote. Edward Snowden had said that because the law was he had to keep his mouth shut and not tell anybody what the government was doing about spying on people, which right, right. was he said was wrong. So he turned around and said, "You know what? I'm going to tell the public what's going yeah, he on." Blew, he blew the whistle. Right. And and that's the thing. There was a law and he said, you know, what? I'm not going to follow that because he's going to do the right thing. So that's what I'm saying with that. Sometimes you got to do the right thing, regardless of what a law says. If you know that's wrong then you've got to do what's right and, and break the law. <laughs> but, OK, you realize there's a lot of uh, controversial elements to it, because let's say gun laws, then, you know, gun law is also a very complicated subject. And you know how you handle the guns. Let's say uh, your your house gets broken into, and you need to use the guns, right? And you have to, you know, if I, I mean I'm not sure. You have to ask the police, you know, get your permission to shoot whoever's uh, invading your house or something. Not in America. Not, no. not in America. Yeah, as, exactly. So if they break into my house, I'm gonna kill them. <laughs> I'm gonna kill them right there. Yeah, I, I mean. I, uh... I, I admire that, you know, the fact that, uh, you know, the freedom to use guns. The Second Amendment, was it? What was it, was it called? The Second Amendment? Right. Let me show you something. Right. To keep and bear arms shall not be infringed in the right to a well-regulated militia. militia yeah. Yeah. Um, and my thing is, what I love, here's what I love about America, right? Right. Here's what I love. Someone breaks into my house. It's going to be over for them. I'll go ahead and tell you that right now. It's going to be over. And you can bet your bottom dollar we all got weapons. We're all. So, so tell me about the process of getting guns. Is it easy to get guns there? Like, is there a lot of paperwork or you no know, tests? How, how does it work? Well, let's see. In, it, it varies a little bit by state by state, but overall, no. It's in America. It's a very easy process. Um, you can. There's different ways to go about it, but the basic way is to go to a gun store, right? So you want to go to a gun shop, right? You right. want to buy a gun. What they'll do usually, if you go in to buy a gun, they'll give you a three day waiting period. So you can't. You probably won't get it that day, unless you're right. a um, a licensed dealer, or or a, or a concealed carry permit holder. Then you can. But if you're just an average person, you'll wait three days. And then you can come pick it up. What they'll do is they will run like one background check um, with their state just to see if you're a felon. So if you're not a felon, if you're not a felon, right, right. You can give it to them. Like I'm, you know, I got this when I was 18 years old and I built this thing myself. Like I built all the pieces together. I didn't need no paperwork. They didn't ask me no questions and they shouldn't ask questions. 
They shouldn't how ask, do you, they how shouldn't do you ask make me it? any questions. Do you like buy parts from whatever store you could? Right. Like online, I just bought most of them online and had them shipped to the house. <laughs> um, like just like a stock and <laughs> was it grip, Amazon, um, eBay, Craigslist? I used I used Amazon for the for the sites, um, and then I used some gun stores like um, for the mags and foregrips and and quad rails and stuff. And then of course like the upper and lower receivers, like the main parts, I bought those from some gun. All right, all right bear with me oh, here because um, isn't it a bit excessive to have like an assault rifle? For, you know, maybe a house intruder is just going to steal, like, a couple dollars. Okay, not a couple dollars, but, uh, you know. Well, it's, it's bigger. It's bigger than that. See, the thing is, in America, we understand that the government's got this kind of weapon. So the people need that kind of weapon to stand up against them because we don't trust the government. You should never trust your government. The government is, is full of nutcases and crazy people. And if they come to kill us, hey, there's one reason why America is the only country in the world that has always had a peaceful transition of power. And the reason for that because, is right here. Right. That's why. Well, the reason why America is the best place to live is because the people have the most guns. If you look at every other country in the world, except for Switzerland, yeah. you, can't have, you can't have this. You can only have this in two countries in the whole world, unless you're a government agent or a, in the military. And it's bad. And other places are, the crime is too high and it's just not a place to live. But then people tell me, why do you need that gun? Number one, who are you to ask me that question? I don't have yeah, to tell true. you why I need that. And secondly, um, I'm I'm their best friend. See, I can save a lot of people's lives, and I can save my own family's life. And right. and they always say, "Oh, you don't need that. Are you crazy? You want to kill a bunch of people? I don't want to kill anybody. I have no desire." It's to purely for protection. People. It's it's not an aggression, right? Exactly. I mean, do, I don't do you want, intend to use it or just like scare? Oh, I have a gun. You better leave my house before I call the cops and use a well, gun on you. Or is it you actually want to is, shoot? Right. Like my philosophy is at all costs. I don't ever want to point this at anybody in my entire life. I never want to have to point this at anybody, but I will not hesitate if somebody tries to kill me. But trust me, I am not looking to fight anybody. I don't want to pull this trigger on somebody ever. I hope I are are you trained to, to use that, or is it just like, oh, you, you, it's your own peril, you know, it's your own how yeah. you ever I mean, handle I'm, it. Guns have been like a lifestyle in my family. Like even when I was a little kid, we used to go in the backyard and shoot all the time. So I've been brought up. So it's natural guns. for I'm you. Trained. Yeah. Right. Here's the thing I'm about trained. guns, because uh, I'm not from the U.S. Right. Uh, where um, I have neighboring countries, they're corrupt leaders. All right. So I really agree with your notion. And where there are corrupt leaders, there's a lot of crime. And all these crimes, they would need the guns. So I don't see – here's the, the controversy with uh, gun laws and morality, right? People say that it's not moral to use guns, you know? It's just going to result in more deaths and more killings. And then you have the other side saying if we don't have guns, we can protect ourselves. Is this going to result in more deaths? So I, I don't know. Well, the see, thing I'm is – in the middle here. I just need some insight on this. Well, I'm telling you, from, from a perspective of a country that's always had weapons, our crime rates, our gun crime, or our total crime rates compared to the rest of the world are much lower. We actually have tons of rights and freedoms. I mean, in America, you're, you're, we are the freest people in the world because we have guns. The thing is, if you don't have guns, only the bad people have them. See, if, if you let good people have guns, then you have a chance. See, if you ban guns, bad people will still have them. The government's still going to have them. They're only taking them away from good people. That's the thing about gun laws. Gun laws only restrict good people. If you're a criminal, you're still going to get guns. Who cares what the law says? You're still going to get them. So why ban them? Banning it only hurts good people. Because if you have a guy who's got a family and he follows the rules and ban guns are illegal, he's probably not going to go get one. And then some criminal's going to walk up knowing that guns are banned. He's going to walk up with a gun. No, because they're criminals. Gonna they're not going to follow the rules. They're criminals. Right. And the thing is, in America, you don't break into people's houses in America because odds are you're going to get shot. I'm, I would say right. seven or eight out of ten times, if you break into somebody's house, they got a gun and they're going to kill you. So that's and gun sales are skyrocketing. Like the last ten years in America, right. gun sales are going crazy. Everybody's buying guns, and so, that's I'm telling you, guns make you free. Okay, so um, here's the thing, because uh, guns make people paranoid, right? You see a gun, you get scared. You want 
you want to arm yourself with a gun. Like, oh, he has a gun. I better get myself a gun. Then person A sees me having a gun and saying, oh, he got a gun. I better have a gun. And it just goes on and on and on. Do you think this is a thing that's going on with the U.S.? Because when one person well, has guns, everyone wants to own a gun. And it's just it's a vicious cycle. Well, I don't have – I don't usually carry weapons with me when I'm out and about, but I don't – guns don't bother me. I don't care. Like, I, I see – like, people will walk into a restaurant, and everybody – like, five people will walk in with guns. It doesn't bother me. It's normal. I'm not worried about it. Like, around here, it's normal. We don't have shootings because guess what? If somebody comes in there and starts shooting, everybody else going to draw guns and kill them. So that's the thing about guns. See, if you walk into a restaurant and you start shooting people – you're probably going to get dropped in a minute. Right, but right. if you go to another country where guns are banned, they're going to kill everybody in there. So or precisely why should arm the good people with the guns so they can fight back, right? right? Then the problem in America is schools, you can't have a gun. So, of course, where do all the shootings happen? Schools, churches. Sandy Hook. Um, that's you know, several years ago. And well, then... Sandy Hook was – I don't want to get off into that tangent, but Sandy <laughs> Hook was a, was a government um, – propagated operation that was all a mess that was not the story was bullshit let's be honest here the story was bullshit you're gonna tell me that a hundred pound kid with asperger's is gonna walk into a school armed to the teeth and take out all those kids in a matter of minutes he no, took himself out too right I'm, if i'm not wrong he, they um, say yeah that's what the report says but right right yeah the, the whole the whole sandy hook story is total crap it's total crap and the fact that CNN, they got caught. They went live. And I saw this that day. I was at home. CNN went live, and they saw two men running from the school being chased. They never went live again. They screwed up. Anderson Cooper said that he was live at Sandy Hook. His nose disappeared on screen. I saw Anderson it. Cooper is an overrated guy, honestly. Well, he's, a, he's a CIA insider. He's a nutcase. That guy is a bad man. I mean, he's, he's a lying piece of crap. But the whole point is Sandy Hook – was done or at least helped by the government on purpose to take our guns. Look what they did after Sandy Hook. Oh, we got to ban the guns. We got to ban the guns. So what, what, what do you think they're with. trying to do here? You know, if they take your guns, what, 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 what's the next step if they take your guns? Well, they're, they got a little problem, though. See, in America, they ain't taking nothing. They can ban the guns all day, but nobody's going to turn them in. We're not going to turn them in. Right, right, so right. They're, they're, they're in trouble. They're in trouble with that. But let's say that they get the guns, right? When they get the guns, we lose all of our rights because we have no way to defend ourselves. Um, but when we're done. We're finished. Without guns, we have nothing. Right, right. Okay. So, so what about the police? You, you guys have uh, you know, social services there, you know, civil services. You have the police. You have the, 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 the uh, ambulance and stuff like that. Why can't you just call them, you know? I mean – I have, I, that's that's a question in my head every time. So. Well, the problem with that is there's a lot of good cops, but here's the problem. They're all government agents. All police are government workers. I don't want more government. I don't want to call the government. I want to handle things with private citizens. I don't like the fact – I don't want to – Like a militia. Only government, well, see, look at all the other countries. Only the cops and the military have the guns, and it's hell. It's hell in these countries. I mean the cops, they're pushing people around, you know, treating them like crap. They got their own power trips and all that junk. I, right, no, true. No. The citizens, the citizens have to be armed. It's 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 paramount. They must it's like be giving armed. power to the people. Essentially, that's exactly. What and, then, do. and and like the biggest argument is like, oh, I'm so scared. They have guns. They'll kill people. Number one, I don't give a damn if you're scared. You don't have a right to go tell somebody else they can't have one. You ain't got no right to mind in their own business. Leave them alone. They're not bothering you. And you're free to get a gun, too, so they shouldn't be whining. You know what I mean? They shouldn't be complaining, and they shouldn't be scared all the time. I mean, I believe people should be free to live their life the way they want to. So that's your moral they right there? Public. That's your what? moral? Your, your, your morals are based on freedom. Right. I believe that unless you're burdening the public, if you're not bothering somebody, I don't care. Right. Until it becomes a problem, we'll handle it in the courts or we'll handle it on the street. But either way... You know, I don't like when we ban everything like like marijuana or cocaine or whatever. That's fine. You know, they tried to ban alcohol back in the day. Big, fat failure. They had to turn around and unban it because it turned into so much crime and just destruction. I mean, the whole I mean, you look up in, in the Can Canadian border states, 
it was all a big mess. I mean, it was an alcohol cartel up there. So my thing is, I don't care. You know, if somebody drinks too much and then they get in a car wreck and kill somebody, that's burdening the public. Now we're going to punish you. Shouldn't that be a law, a law then to, you know, stop this, uh, no, whatever right. the source. Okay, let's use that as an example, you know, um, drunk driving, right? Drunk driving stems from um, alcohol, beverages, and, you know, just irresponsible driving. So wouldn't it make sense to you know, make a law to um, sort of curb drinking and driving altogether? Well, the thing is, how are you going to do that unless you unless you try and ban um, driving or alcohol? It, it doesn't problems. have to be banning. Maybe you can just limit every certain time. You know, maybe at but like people are going midnight. To do well, think about this. No matter what law you pass, people are going to do what they want to do anyway. And if somebody – there shouldn't even have to be a law. If you're dumb enough – to intoxicate yourself and get in the car that's your own fault and you get what you deserve you die or kill somebody that's your own fault you screwed up but i'm saying that if you make a law it ain't gonna it ain't gonna change if somebody's dumb enough to do that they're gonna do it anyway but the government has what power is- they can they can enforce in that law without seeming so you know regime like or well oppressive. i believe in laws i believe that we should have laws but at the right. same time we can't until now, certainly laws to prevent drunk driving that, you know, like you were saying, some different things we can do. Certainly, I want to make laws that um, protect people from burdening the public. In other words, you kill somebody or wreck somebody because you were drunk, then that's where the line needs to be drawn. But not just strictly drinking. That's fine. I don't care how much you drink. If you don't bother anybody else, whatever, you know, that's fine. I don't care. All right. Okay. Um, I got one more question because, you know, you said this is a quote from Edward Snowden, right? So uh, if you don't mind, I'll just move on to politics. If, is that okay with you talking about politics? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so um, we know that President-elect Trump, uh, he has, you know, rather controversial laws and policies. I'm not against them. In fact, I'm, you know, all for some of them, such as, you know, building the wall, although I have my issues on that. See, uh, most of these laws, you know, especially with your quote, they seem pretty immoral. You know, they they uh they segregate, you know, races and religion. So you no, know, don't you think Who did? Um, what laws the, segregate? Well, not laws, but you know, his policies, you know, Donald Trump's Which policies. ones? Well, um let's say uh, banning whole religion from the, the, the country or you know But he never things. said that. That's the thing, he never he said com- that. The media said he said complete that. and See, total shutdown. He said uh, complete that's those. right of the border we've got to shut but see we've got to shut the border down because we've got a problem islam is not a religion of peace it's a religion of pieces arms <laughs> over here legs over here and was that a suicide the suicide bombing joke yeah but the thing is uh, until we can find that. out who you are if you're not an american citizen you have no right just to walk right in with all your crap. So even if it's a Muslim that's an American citizen, what, what do you have to say about them? Oh, if they're an American citizen, they have all the protections in the Constitution. They should not be bothered. And if Trump went so, after them, I'd be against that. But I'm talking about people who aren't citizens and we don't know who you are. I'm not just going to let you walk in. So like that's immigrants and refugees. What about refugees? I mean, Ma, the, the, none of them, because we have no money. America's broke. How can we pay... Where are they going to go? They're not going to get a job. They're going to come here. Taxpayers are going to have to pay for food and housing and all this bull crap. And look at all the other countries in Europe. Germany is ruined. France is ruined because of these refugees. They have poured Paris, in. Paris, now they're, um, raping. they're raping and pillaging and, and taking everything. I don't want that in America. I'm sorry, but we can't let these people in because they're not poor old refugees. Most of them are military age men, okay, who are violent. And looking to start a fight. And so I don't where are the women? Where are the children? Where are these people? They're actual victims. The women, the women are got beekeeper suits on, and they're being treated like property. And then the kids are getting their hands cut off for stealing cookies out of the cookie jar. That's Sharia law for you. Sharia law. That's yeah, why the kids. Here's the thing: Sharia law is, um, if I'm not wrong, it's you know, a sort of moral Islamic law, and they have the moral police patrolling. No, and no, associating that with your quote there, the law is no substitute for morality. Considering Sharia law is based on morals, and no, and the, and Sharia law wrong. is nuts, man. That stuff is nuts. But see, you got to assimilate. If you come here, you have to assimilate with America. You, we're not just going to cater to your every whim. It doesn't work that way. And his comment um, is true. P- 
people like um, Harry oh. Reid and Pelosi and Obama, they'll say, oh, yeah, you got to help them. They won't put a damn what They got five mansions and they won't house a single one. George Clooney it says you got to help the refugees. Hypocritical for what I'm saying. They, they all, they're arrogant hypocrites. They don't give a damn about us. They don't care about, you think they care about the refugees? They just want to bring them in here to run us dry while they take everything we've got. And the other thing is this. The reason why they want all the Mexicans to come in here is because they're going to vote. They're going to use them as a voting block. And that we can't handle that. If too many of them get in, which if you want to come in legally, I want you to. I want new citizens. I want people from Mexico and everywhere to come here. But you can't do it wrong. You can't do it illegally. And also you can't walk up in here and, and run the cartel. I don't want the drug cartel in America. There has to be a formal process. Is that what you're saying? That and there is. There is a process. Crime free people, people entering. So I don't think back to the thing, I don't think Trump. Trump's policies aren't segregating and dividing us. Trump's policies are protecting America. It's nationalism. We're trying to protect our sovereignty. I don't want to just let all these people come in and screw us up. They're going to take everything we got. I want to know who you are first. If we don't know who somebody is, I'm sorry, but we're not going to take that chance. We got our country and you got yours. We have a right. I mean, considering, um, you know, the United States history of the Middle East is not really that peaceful, you know, for the past, what, 30 years? The sad thing is, it's America's fault because America funds, we fund ISIS and Al Qaeda. See, America. Yeah, that's not, funds- no, I agree with that. That's, that's not a lie. They started off rebel groups uh, back in, um, you know, 1990 plus around there. And they just well, the grew 70s, off into, yeah, the 70s started, around there. We, and they grew off in into the um, large groups. Sort of large. That's why they have all these um, old great weapons, all the old great AKs and motors. And then now they're getting new weapons. Um, I don't know who the hell is supplying them. And I just call it a red flag. I America. do. <laughs> cool, it's cool. America, right? America is shipping guns to these people on purpose because think about it. If you don't have a war going on, they're trying to keep the Americans in fear, right? If you've got a war going on in, in American media, they say, oh, ISIS is going to get us. We better we better turn in our guns. We better be scared and ask the government for help. ISIS is totally fabricated. It's a joke. It's fake. It's all manufactured by our government on purpose. Now, sure, there's radical. There's radical Islamists. That exists. There's suicide bombers. There's nutcases. But yeah, the lone wolf attacks. Those right. Are... But it's all fear mongering. There's not this. Do you really think ISIS and Al Qaeda, if America was actually legit in fighting them, we could wipe them out in a day. The reason and why we, have, we have all this, you know, a huge arsenal, and they're still there committing all these attacks. Yeah, because and we're we not want doing them anything. To. That's the thing. We want them to do that, and that's that's the evil of these people. The people that run this world are evil, and they they are nasty, disgusting people that I despise. What, 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 what can you get out of that on um, ongoing war? Wouldn't that you know, destroy profits? Money and oil of it. War resources. creates lots of money. Back um, when we when they said they had weapons of mass destruction in Iraq, oh was like, yeah, cool Iraq, shit. yeah, cool so shit. The what happened? The economy soared for all the elites after 9/11. Right, um, actually, right before 9/11, they had insider trading because everybody knew 9/11 was going to happen. But right. they had insider trading in the stock market for Raytheon, who makes um, Tomahawk missiles. Somebody bought a hell of a lot of stocks with them. Right after 9-11, ooh, they made a pretty penny. And they also had set out put options on Boeing or American Airlines, um, the planes that crashed. When their stocks dipped, they made tons of cash. See, people knew 9-11 was going to happen because if you look at the markets right before it, everybody had set up. and they See, nothing big for ever it. happens in this country. They right, prepared. nothing big. Nothing major ever happens in the world without somebody knowing, right, without a lot of people knowing. The elites know everything that's going to happen. Sandy Hook, Boston, they knew that crap. Oh, Paris, I mean, that. definitely not Paris. The Paris attacks, the stadium, those, that cannot well, be staged, you know that? Well, I don't know. Those an actual I didn't ISIS investigate attack. that one, but I do know 50-something, what, 50-something people or 70-something people got killed? Yeah, a lot of, yeah, it's like a killing spree, basically. Stadiums, that, um, some... And, and, of course, the citizens didn't have guns to defend themselves, so... Yeah, true. I'm, that, it's not like they're in a financial position to fund guns, you know. They already have to deal with the refugees, which again is where this ISIS is. Part. It's just, you know, it's a well, they're a sneaking rock in a hard with, place. The, with the refugees. They're sneaking in. Right, right. Okay. So I'm saying this: Donald Trump doesn't want division and segregation. He simply wants 
to preserve the sovereignty of America. That's all we got left. We don't. I don't want to be like Europe. Europe's in the tank. America's in the tank. You think we're not, Europe we're not, is? Uh, you know, women aren't getting raped in the streets. <laughs> True. See, okay, here's the thing about uh, Europe, right? Um, um, especially Brexit. You know, Brexit. I don't even know. I'm 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 excited about that, even though I don't know how that's going to pan out. But the EU is horrible. They are a conglomerate. It's a failing of organization. That's what it is. It's it's, it's been criminal. crumbling since day one. Uh, here's the thing. I don't think it's France uh, recently banned the wearing of the uh, what do you call them? The, the Muslims they wear those. Uh, yeah, the beekeeper suits. Beer, the, yeah, uh, yeah, those the things. I mean, okay, you you just said that you know, on your perspective, you don't mind if they're Muslim, so it's on your legally. But what about this case? You know, the fact that they're actually piercing into the religion itself. You know. But I mean, I don't care if somebody's wearing a bag over their head. I don't care. You know, you can have your belief system. However, you just said they wear beekeeper suits. (laughs) Yeah, that's what they wear. But if you have a, if your religion says that you're going to kill anybody who wears the color red, that's a problem, and that's not going to be tolerated because that doesn't go along with the constitution. Oh, Santa Claus, you better hide. (laughs) Santa Claus, yeah, better. But you know, as as funny as that example is, the principle is profound. It's actually because true. If you wear full red, they'll kill you. No, I mean, it's volatile. <laughs> no, uh, that was just a joke. That wasn't oh, real. Oh, okay. I yeah, thought <laughs> I was just making an. Ex- I was just making an example that. Oh, because if that's true, we'll all be dead by now. I have, I right, but their red, trust me. Is, if you don't, if you don't assimilate with them and you don't accept Sharia law and and bow down and praise that lifestyle, they're going to kill you. That's that's their religion. So they demand full assimilation from you, but they they won't cooperate with you. They won't yeah, they, they argue with they just you. Want, they, they're it's just all being about violent. them. But yeah, my thing is Islam is not a religion of peace. And by the way, Muslim is not a race. That's an ideology. People like, keep saying so that. Your no race is your race. I'm, no, it's, yeah, it's, it's an it's ideology. Not a race. <laughs> it's a religion. It's not a race. Exactly. Exactly. That's that's the problem. And then people on here and then on other platforms that I'm on, they'll be like, oh, you're just racist and misogynist. They'll use these little big, they'll use these big words they learned in college. Misogynistic. No, yeah. I mean, that's they're, a they're whole different bullshit. topic. Okay. Uh, also, there's, there's, I, I want to point this out. It does not stay in, in your book, the Muslim the Quran, I think, that uh, Islam, it, it doesn't say Islam is a religion of peace. It doesn't explicitly explicitly says that. So I don't know where it's the opposite. They're getting Look at the what narrative they from. They they beat women. They cut people's arms off. They blow themselves up in holy wars. I mean, that's not peaceful. That's violent. Everything in the Quran is is, is talking about being violent. It's very violent. Right, right. Because so I've read this it. sort of tribal mentality. You know, it's a really hmm, how do I put it? Harsh. Uh, okay, no, it's not harsh. It's barbaric. It's, yeah, that's the word I was looking for. It's barbaric. It's but, all the tiniest things you do. It's like execution, you know. And they and they made thing. They made it public too. A- anyone on the streets can just see it. So that's not really civil or moral. I don't know why they call it a moral law. And it's funny. It's funny because in America, right? Um, they all, right now the trendy thing is everybody says, "Ooh." Um, we we want to we don't care if you're gay or lesbian or whatever we we accept you you know but but the Muslims, the Muslims kill gays hey, that's what I'm saying the Muslims throw them off rooftops you can't you can't mix them both it's like oil and water no it's it's really controversial I mean and, but see you if can't, they can't pull can't it judge, off you can't judge a Muslim and how dare you judge somebody for throwing a gay person off a rooftop we can't talk about that but me for example I, I'll tolerate that I don't care if somebody's gay whatever but do but I you're not gay. Can't. How do I know no, you're not gay? I don't want to bias you. Okay. No, I'm, going I'm not. But my thing is, if somebody's gay, whatever. But I'll tolerate that lifestyle, but I don't think that that's particularly moral. However, if two consenting adults are gay, that's fine. It's not burdening the public. You do what you want. However, I don't think that that's whatever. But at the well, same you're time— You're not for homosexuality? I don't think that that's a moral thing to do, but again, I'll— I don't care if it's not burdening. I mean, public. biologically speaking, it's not helping our race because no, it's not. It doesn't. We're meet all the dying more than we're giving birth. 
right. and we need more it, people. It's not, it's not how things, it's not the natural order of things. And I do, right. believe, I'm a strong believer in the natural order of how the world works. Um, and like abortions too. That one though, I'm completely against that. Why? Because I believe that that's infringing on an individual right. If you look at the science behind it, I'm sorry, but when you look at, <clears throat> when you look at that fetus, you want to do that abortion? I don't think so. And a lot of doctors quit too, because they don't want to have to do it either. It's disgusting. And yes, the late term. So are you're bad. pro pro choice. Um, life. I'm not sure. The other one. The other one. Pro life. Is it? Yeah. Pro, right. Pro life. Right. Yeah. yeah. Pro life is uh, not uh, um, not allowing abortions. Is that? Yeah. Right? No. Oh, okay. But okay. Because here's the thing. I, what if just, um, the baby has a disease and it will kill the mother in the process unless you kill you know, the baby? It's a classic scenario. Just want to know. Yeah, and they they give me they'll. Which one? Where the baby's sick, right? The baby's going to yeah, kill the mother? Yeah, right, that one. And you have to kill it before... If so you, you got to kill, kill, kill what's inside of her to save the mother, right? Right. Is anything ever certain in the medical field? Mm -mm. Crazy Actually, stuff happens. a lot of uh, things in the medical field are based on assumptions and observations. Yeah, there well, is that, nothing I, that hardly precise. ever happens. His quote is true. That hardly ever happens. But in that case, I'm still going to stand strong. That we're not gonna we're not gonna do it. We're not gonna do it. Right. So I'm gonna stand strong on that one. Okay, so here's the thing. Um in the society where I live, there are uh you know, there are Muslims here, okay? And here I really hate it when uh these Muslims they take this liberal side, you know, they, they're so liberal about things. And when you compare what they do to what it's written in your book, it's really an oxymoron because they're not sticking to the book and then you're here screaming oh i'm a muslim but you don't follow what's in the book you know where's your uh your, your scar where's the uh you know, the rug and everything you know and you're just using that label and the, you know this whole trend about oh i'm muslim i have my rights and no you're not you don't even <laughs> act like one we we deserve you know equal rights to that so what is what is your opinion on that you know, considering are there a lot of Muslims where you live, or not? Not where I live, but I tell you, you, go up to Dearborn, Michigan, and you're a woman. You walk down the street in Michigan in Dearborn, you're gonna get your head chopped off if you ain't got that beekeeper suit on. But my problem is, uh, in my area, there's not really there's not a big Muslim population. But again, I really don't. There care. are what, somebody there can are. have what? There are Muslims there. There is a small minor. Yeah, I mean, there's there's some, but it's like a really small. I mean, you hardly ever see you hardly ever see them. But the thing is, like, I don't care. But until your religion of peace starts being violent, then we have a problem, um, you know. But again, but I, I haven't really seen that where people are running around pulling the Muslim card because we don't really have that population around here. So I can't speak for that myself. There's a lot However, of that in uh, New York and all the Democrat on the blue states. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah a lot of places that. like that. It's yeah. not only the Muslims, the Mexicans and. Any minority is just using this election. Um, but they act election. like they're better than everybody else. Like they deserve. So like blacks are always like, oh, we want reparations. For what? The Black last time anything matter. remotely bad happened. Remotely bad was the 60s, okay? And these young black kids telling me they want reparations is bullshit because you didn't go through nothing, okay? And and just and reverse racism is just as bad and white shaming is retarded. So we've already, let's move beyond that. But my thing is, I hate talking about race because who cares? Skin color doesn't matter. It's just merit levels. Matters. But there are people that you know make it such a big deal if you have a different. Right, because the media, the media and the government, they want you fighting over race. They want us fighting over skin color because they don't want diamond, us to band yeah. together. Right. Okay. Here's the thing um, about Black Lives Matter. Okay. Uh, my opinion on it is that they're all saying that, oh, we keep dying, we keep, uh, you know, we're victims of crime. But then you look at your culture and your pop music is all about gang robbing. and, and It's all about raping certain... women, sagging pants, and stealing stuff. That's what yeah, it's all then, about. And then, and then they, they, they turn around and say, oh, I don't know why our race and culture is so messed up. And then they, they, <laughs> they go back to listening to their music like, oh, yeah, 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 I'm doing drive-bys <laughs> and shooting people up. My but their I'm problem is, they tell me that, oh, BLM's peaceful. We're good. We're good. Really, where did BLM start? Ferguson, Missouri. The Look at their rights. Look at their rights. There's a lot of footage uh, burning people, and there's nothing they peaceful They kill about cops. It. They're running around, and they hate the cops. But here's the thing. 
Did MLK say Black Lives Matter? No, huh? He said he, no, all MLK black lives would matter. frown on the Black Lives Matter movement. He would frown he on that because that is propagating the racism. Sitting there saying that blacks are better than everybody else, and they're and in America, this racist sentiment doesn't exist. There's not this anti-black sentiment. We have a black president, there. a black attorney general, a black Supreme Court justice. I mean, what the hell else do you want? It's like an Oreo if cookie so now. <laughs> if we're so anti-black, how the hell? I mean, it just, it's insane that people actually think that. And, and I mean, there are big crimes, that, but it's not that bad to a yeah, certain extent. Yeah, but it's not, the majority of America is not anti-black. That's nonsense that BLM's trying to say. And most cops are good people. Most cops, they got a tough job, all right? And I respect most of them. They're great people. Especially the, the point you brought up earlier cops. that the cops have guns and people like you have guns. And the cops have to deal with armed citizens all the time. And, you know, the fact that they might... No snap. And but shit. do you know how many crimes? Do you know how many crimes happen with with uh, citizens with guns that got them legally? Like none. They, this doesn't happen. Citizens who legally have guns, they don't go kill cops. It's always these thugs who stole guns anyway from some dealer, and then they're going to shoot. Here's people the up. thing: like if you say "fuck the police," who are you going to call if you're in danger? <laughs> a drug dealer? You're not going to call a drug dealer. Well, danger. they're just thugs. They're just pants sagging thugs who don't know left from right. They couldn't find their butt with two hands. They're so stupid. They're so I, fucking I don't, stupid. I did not understand that trend. The, the, the pants sagging trend. It's, it's, it's disrespectful. It's not culture. It's disrespect. That's what it is. They have a degrading just, culture, and they're self-inflicting harm on themselves. You know? But it's funny because in America, everybody's like, oh, we, you need to respect women. You need to put women above everybody else. But at the same time, the black culture is all about degrading women and treating them like property. See, that's the And they encourage cheating and stuff like that, you know, having yeah. what, side hoes. And, I mean, how does that respect women, you know? It's, it's really ironic. And then to me, if you really want to fix these racist problems, if there are any racist problems, is that you should look, um, you know, start with the community itself. Don't blame other groups for your own problems. That, that's my opinion, because there's no point blaming the white people, all right? There's no point in blaming um, the Russians, because Donald Trump won. Now the story is, oh, he's a Russian agent, which is bull crap. He, got more, votes, he got more votes, actually. He got more votes. Yeah, the, the recount was a that big was fail. That was stupid. <laughs> And then why? Would well, you the recount, the recount was such a fail that the media has dropped it all together. Now they're just talking about how he's a Russian agent. See, the media is panicking. Everybody's panicked because dear Hillary, the Lord God and Savior Hillary Clinton lost. So now they're in deep shit. They're in deep shit right now. It's someone breaking the system. They don't want people just come in and break the system they have in place. They want to get get rid of it. We've we've been in the system for. The last time we had a president that wasn't in the system was really was Kennedy, really. But Reagan was OK. But Kennedy did stand up against the banks and they killed him for it. They right. Right. But, you know, Trump I mean, the Bush is, is strong. Is, He's rich. He has connections. He's strong. He's and if they, kill Trump, they wouldn't kill Trump because even if they did this, the whole country would know they would. The New World Order would give themselves away too much. It would be too late. We would come back and we would. We would not accept but that they, they tried okay, to kill but Trump. the quote unquote new world order have done has done these assassinations so many times so i think one more assassination is not hard to cover up especially but they did them back when me new i mean media and news didn't spread like it does now oh right they did it now he's popularized now if he's killed now harder. everyone will go Look on wall Sandy street Hook. Look at Sandy Hook in Boston they did that where the social media was big and they got caught the New World Order got caught at, at Boston and Sandy Hook. They got they got caught red-handed running those operations. So if they try and kill Trump, I mean, what are they going to do? Blow his plane up? They're going to use a sniper rifle? I mean, whatever they do, somebody's going to find out. It's going to come out. Right. Okay. Well, so you no know, about Trump and you no know, his policies and stuff. How will a wall uh, supposedly keep? Uh, drug dealers and rapists and illegal. I mean, illegals understand that part, but will it actually stop crime? Because there are well, other ways to enter the country. Well, you know? here's our problem. We have a border patrol, right? And we have right, a great exactly. border So Obama, why aren't the funds going there? Because Obama told them all to stand down. That's one. Now, the thing is, we can activate the border patrol, but the wall serves not only as a symbol of sovereignty, but also as an infrastructure for the border patrol to work off of. 
the wall will help us better manage the border because we like got a, a base, serious problem. It's like a base for them. It's it's and, and the border patrol desperately needs an infrastructure to give them more support against the drug cartel because the cartel they're it's they're a fierce, and loaded. Yeah, it's El Chapo and stuff. Um, well, I got to get going, um, but it was right. really good. It's been a nice discussion. Yeah, definitely. All right, I'll see you around. All right, cheers.